Hello everybody, welcome to our YouTube channel ISCA Engineering. ISCA Engineering would like to bring you a series of videos over motors and their control systems. We will cover topics such as understanding electrical drawings, motor transformers, motor control devices, electric motors, contactors, motor starters, and relays. We'll also look into motor control circuits, as well as motor control electronics, adjustable speed drives, and we'll finish this series of videos with an introduction to PLCs. So hit the like button and subscribe so you won't miss any of our videos. In this first video, let's cover understanding electrical drawings. We'll make this topic a two-part video. First, we will cover symbols and abbreviations, and in the second video, we'll cover everything that has to do with ladder diagrams. It's no secret that being able to read electrical drawing is a great skill to possess. When we work with motors and their control systems, there are different types of electrical drawings that are used in order for us to easily design and read electrical drawings. First, we have to become familiar with certain standard symbols. Knowing the meaning of symbols and also how the equipment operates will make it easier for us to read electrical drawings. A motor control circuit is a circuit that supplies power and removes power from a motor. When we use symbols in circuit diagrams, it makes it easier for us to read it and understand it. We also use lines and symbols to show how the parts of a circuit are connected to one another. Note that not all electrical and electronic symbols are standardized. Some symbols vary slightly by manufacturers. Another thing to keep in mind is that sometimes symbols look nothing like the real thing. For that reason, it's important to learn what the symbols mean. Alright, let's take a look at some symbols. We have put together tables that contain a comparison of the NEMA and IEC symbols. The purpose of this comparison is to provide a simple cross-reference of common symbols used through various parts of the world. Let's start by looking at the first table of symbols. The first set of symbols are circuit breakers. Here we show two types, the magnetic only and the thermal magnetic. To the right of the NEMA symbols you can see the IEC comparison. Next symbol we have is the coil. For now, just focus on memorizing the names and how the symbols look. In later lessons, we will give examples on how these symbols are used in electrical diagrams. We will also cover how the symbols work. Moving on, here we have the basic contacts. For contacts, there are two different types, the normally closed contacts and the normally open contacts. Here are the symbols for a fuse. There are two types of disconnect switches. One of them is the non-fused and the other is the fused. This is the symbol for our ground. Here are the symbols for motors. We have the single phase and the three phase. The last symbols in this table are the indicating light or sometimes referred to as the pilot light. Let's keep moving and learning about other symbols. The first set of symbols in this table are the overload relays. We have the thermal element and the solid state. Here are the symbols for the push button. There are different types, but the push button consists of only two states. They're either normally open or normally closed. There are several types of switches, but like the push button, they consist of only two states. These are also either normally open or normally closed. In this table, we have the float, flow, and foot. In the upcoming table, we will see a couple more switches. Let's continue with more switches. Here is the symbol for the limit, pressure, temperature, and selector switch. The majority of selector switches come in either two or three-way position. The tables show which contact is made when the switch is actuated. Next, we have the transformers. There are two types, current transformer and voltage transformer. There are push buttons that illuminate when they are actuated. This is the NEMA symbol for it. Currently, there is not an IEC comparison. There's also a push to test indicating light. The push to test indicating light is useful to test if the bulb in the light is properly working when not in operation. Okay, so we have gone over a few symbols. Now let's look at some key abbreviations that will make it easier in reading and understanding motor electrical schematics. This list covers some of the most commonly used in motor control diagrams. We have put together this table with some key abbreviations. You can pause the video or download this table in the link below to get familiar with all of them. For now, I want to go over the ones that we will see in this topic of understanding electrical schematics. Some of the ones that we will see are the CR, which is the abbreviation for Control Relay. 
FWD for forward. When you see L1, L2, L3, these are going to be power line connections. M is the abbreviation for a motor starter. NC stands for normally closed and NO stands for normally open. These are the abbreviations for your basic contacts. OL stands for overload relays. PL stands for pilot light. Sometimes you'll also hear people referring to this as indicating light. PB stands for push button. Rev for reverse. Sol is the abbreviation for a solenoid. When you see T1, T2, and T3, these will be your motor terminal connections. It's important to learn what the abbreviations stand for as this will make it easier to understand electrical diagrams. So far, we have gone over a few symbols and some key abbreviations that will help in analyzing motor control drawings. Being able to read motor control drawings will help us understand the operation of a circuit and allow us to know the type of device and also the equipment location. This concludes the introduction to symbols and abbreviations. As I mentioned earlier, getting familiar with symbols and abbreviations will make it easier to design, read, and understand electrical schematics. In the next video, we will cover how to read and construct ladder diagrams. Follow us on Instagram at ISCA underscore engineering for daily posts on electricity, controls, automation, and much more. Thanks for watching.